To help safeguard public health in our communities, Michigan Tech University is doing a study that involves public collecting ticks. TV6's Tristan Kendrick shows what the study found. These bugs were found in a UP neighborhood. In May, a group of researchers from Michigan Tech University's Environmental Science started their TikTok research project. The project's goal is to provide people with knowledge about ticks. MTU's genomic sequencing lab lead says their research shows ticks in the UP have diseases. We're seeing on average is slightly over 10% of ticks are positive for Lyme disease. Um, about one per, one ish percent are positive for Ehrlichia, which is a bacterial disease um, that has similar symptoms to Lyme, and about five percent are positive for anaplasma. Marceau says the project is part of the Michigan Sapphire program. During the study, MTU placed two tick bins on campus. People grab a tube, collect the ticks they find, and bring them back to the bin. She says it's best to look for ticks when you come in from outdoors. A lot of these diseases that we're seeing actually take time to pass from the tick to the individual. So if you can remove those ticks within the first, you know, 8 to 12 hours, you have a lot, lot less chance of contracting a disease. MTU's Assistant Forest Research and Environmental Science professor Kristen Bresky says during research, one of these tubes came back with something called Lone Star ticks, and she says they can be extremely dangerous. They can carry alpha-gal, which can create meat allergens, and so that could be something that is new and emerging in this region, and so we're definitely going to be tracking um, if we're, this was a one-off uh, uh, tick detection or if this is a potential emerging trend of um, new tick species. Researchers say the study the study will go on until September 30th. Then they will post the results. Tristan Kendrick, TV6 News, Houghton.